I want to show you how to uh, use an alternative to a crab basket uh, when you go crabbing. Okay, if you don't want to go out and buy a crab basket and store it and uh, you know keep it dry and all that all year, hey, uh, grab yourself a, a, a joint compound or a drywall bucket, uh, pickle buckets. I mean, there's all sorts of type of buckets like that. You don't really need the lid because you're going to use a wet rag on top of the crabs when the crabs are in there. So uh, you want to get yourself a drill. And this is a, uh, a hole drill for uh, for doorknobs. Don't get a big one, okay? The big ones, um, I mean, you can tell by the size of my hand just how big this, this guy is. Uh, you don't want the crabs crawling through the hole, all right? So uh, first part of the year, over in, uh, in uh, on the East Coast, crabs, uh, blue crabs are a five inch minimum from tip to tip of the shell, back shell. So uh, they'll crawl right through this guy. This guy is small enough to let air go through, but not uh, the crabs. All right, so um, let's go ahead and start drilling. You don't want to drill, you know, holes going around like this because you want don't want this coming apart. We're going to scatter the holes and and go around. So here I go. You can use a, a clamp to hold this thing from uh, moving around too much on you. Uh, you're going to hold it down anyway. Uh, put put uh, you want to put them down to the bottom. And that's the that's the first hole. Then put the next one up, and it's starting to rain. Okay, so that's the that's the sequence you want to do or with about two inches in between. It is starting to rain, so I'm going to uh, finish this up later on, and I'll show you the end, end product. Well, the rain wasn't so bad. <laughs> anyway, I don't think you know what needed to actually watch me do all this. So that's what it looks like inside. Okay, um, a little far there, a little close there, but you're not going to be perfect. But it actually worked out very well going all the way around. So it's still very sturdy. Uh, it's not going anywhere. All right, and um, I'm not worried about putting holes up here because there's going to be ventilation coming out here. So the air will go through and come out here. I mean, there's going to be a lot of good uh, airflow. Uh, you want to keep a moist rag. And uh, not really with uh, tap water. You want to grab seawater and uh, uh, put it down there. Just drop your rag down the ocean or lake or whatever and uh, uh, pop it right on top. Uh, so uh, remember, don't put your uh, don't put your crabs on ice. Okay, they'll stay for two three days without refrigeration or anything. You want to keep them alive. All right. So hopefully you'll find this handy. Uh, you may already know how to do this, but hey, just in case you didn't and you have all the tools. And I'm sure you can go to uh, Ace Hardware someplace, a uh, fishing place, and buy one of these for probably five, ten bucks. Also, they produce these little uh, discs, and I'm sure if you have a crafts, you know, one of those uh, craft uh, people at home, they'll probably like these things. I don't know. <laughs> All right. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, stay tuned for more. Bye.